I've got Lauren Bowman, the winner of the 300. Uh, unusual event they've, they've put on tonight. You've, you've come out in great form. Um, you've had a, a, a really good winter, I would say. Uh, how was your winter? Um, prep? Yeah, um, well, I came back from World Champs and had a bit of a break and <laughs> got into winter training, which was really coming into summer for us. But um, I had about three months of really solid training and <laughs> we finished that off with a competition stint in Tasmania just after Christmas and did a couple of the pro races down there. And I had, I think, eight races in five days. So it was a good little introdu introduction into competition without being hurdles are on the track so I think all the training you know has been going really well and I think tonight just shows what, what's to come this season. And you've had a really busy night tonight you did a 300 plus the 4x4 four four relay so you, you, you've, you've you felt good in the three after having done the the um <laughs> Matt, sorry, Matt just uh, jumped in there and has, has ruined my, my question asking. Super coach. Yeah, super coach. So you've had a busy, you've had a busy, um, a busy night tonight. Um, how did you feel in the 300 after doing the 400? Clearly, clearly very good. Yeah, surprisingly, I felt pretty fresh. I think the two hours break was enough to allow me to warm down, then sort of warm back up again for the three. So I mean, obviously the the aim was to run well for the relay and for the girls, and then. Use the 300 as a bit of training, thanks to Maddie What did you B. expect to run in that 300? Did you, were you looking for a time uh, or a place? Or I mean, obviously to win, that's why yeah. we why we come here. But um, time-wise, I was hoping for a sub 38. Yeah. Um, like 38-20 in the end. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But I mean, I think it's the second time ever I've run out of blocks, so I really had no idea, yeah. especially after a fall, what to expect. But the win. Right, so exactly, good. you're going to do too much better than the win. So, what's the expectation sort of now to moving forward under the season, uh, goal wise as well? Yeah, well, next week I go to Hunter, run my second four hurdles in the season, but the first one of the domestic tour. Um, and then basically from there, you know, we go to Hobart, Perth, Sydney, and then on to selection trials. So it's all going to come around really quickly, but obviously the aim is to run the A qualifier, if not more than once. Um, before trials and then make sure that I win trials and I am an automatic selection for, for London. And you think you'll go over to Europe beforehand, do a couple of races or America or? Well, I mean, what, what? ideally go to Europe a bit before London, yeah. have some races and some good prep. Um, Where do you normally base over there? Uh, in Cologne, Cologne, in Germany. So, may look at going to uh, Japan in May, which I've done the last couple of years, just for a different stimulus. It might be just to race and see where I'm at in a training block, but um, they have some pretty fast tracks over there. It's always good to run there. So, you know, there's a few ideas floating around. It's just it's hard to know until after March, really. Yeah, exactly. Awesome stuff tonight. Great result. All the best for the rest of the season. Thanks very much.